half of Bad Outfit Great Lipstick. Um, this is an old library card catalog that I got out of the local art center. The local art center used to be a library back in the 50s and 60s and this actually came out of the boiler room of the art center. They wanted it gone. I made a deal with the president of the art center and she said nope go ahead and take this. So Basically, what I did, I, I tried to leave the carcass of the catalog alone as much as I could, but there were four drawers missing up here that I didn't have replacements for, and I didn't really know if I should build new drawers or just leave them alone. So I ended up cutting off this quadrant of the catalog and making a new shelf right here which Renee said that she's going to try and find a mirror tray to put all of her little bells and whistles. But all of the hardware on the front is original. Some of these little knobs here will actually pop out. Some of them are epoxied into place. Um, but all the hardware is original. But the bulk of what I did to it is I made everything from here down. So I took four by four posts of red oak. All of this is red oak. I took about four by fours of red oak and put them on the lathe and cut these spindles. This is my custom design for these spindles, but um, I just found a, a pattern on Pinterest that I liked and started going. So uh, the spindles are all custom and then all of these pieces are mortise and tenon together and they are doweled into place. These ones are a little bit difficult to see, but these ones came up very dark against the actual wood, but they're all mortise and tenon together, and they are all pinned in place with 3 8 inch red oak dowels. And everything is stained with a red mahogany stain. Okay, well, I added plywood inserts to the insides of all of the drawers because the insides of a card catalog are actually open in the middle. So to make them fully functioning drawers, I had to add pieces to the bottoms of those. If you have questions, by all means ask Renee and I will do my best to answer those. Or if you want to see build pictures, you can go to my Instagram page, which is at klund1215. And it has all of my build pictures, all of my mess ups, and all of my finished pictures of this. So I hope you enjoy, bring questions. So here it is, my beautiful card catalog that my fiance made for me. I cannot stop staring at it. I love it so much. So let's show you what's in the drawers. The top drawer is all besame because I have a problem. Um, really, in all honesty, I just thought these products were so pretty that they deserved their own drawer. Uh, it is worth mentioning that some of the products you'll see in this video, including a good bit of my besame, was sent to me by the company, but I also bought quite a lot with my own money, and I bought plenty of besame with my own money. They're just so pretty. My second drawer is all of my lip products that are not besame. So two NARS lipsticks, a uh, Rodin, MAC, a Charlotte Tilbury, a Lancome gloss. There's the Maybelline Superstay Lipstick Remover, there's a DHC Lip Balm, and of course my Noble 5 Lip Pencils that I've had for so long and I love them, right there in the back. It's weird to realize that I only have one Max, MAC lipstick now. I used to have way more. I think I had, you know, a dozen at one point. It's crazy to think about that. 
Um, so this next drawer is, and it does get a little stuck. Some of these drawers do get a bit stuck. It's an old piece of furniture, so not shocking. Uh, these are all of my blushes besides, of course, the two Besame ones up top. So I have all six Glossier cloud paint shades, two of the Becca beach tints. I love the I love the beach tints and I've used them for years. I've actually finished a whole tube of watermelon. And then I have two of the face Stockholm cream blushes. I do not wear these enough and I need to get better about that because they're just they're just a beautiful product. The next drawer is my highlighters. So in the front, I keep sort of my white, very sheer, very natural highlighters. And then behind those are my more golden or sparkly ones. And in the back is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. That was a birthday gift from my parents. This drawer, um, <laughs> this drawer needs a declutter. Uh, this is my bases drawer. So in the front, there's my Philosophy skin tint. I grab that a lot for work. You can see all of my concealers right up front and my Dolce & Gabbana powder. Good old MAC face and body. I will always have that foundation. And then also Buxom Show Some Skin and an All May foundation. Those two are not getting enough love. I might declutter them, which is crazy because the Buxom is a great foundation, but keep what you love, keep what you use. So this drawer is eyeshadow. And I was kind of shocked by how much I have because I don't think of myself as a big eyeshadow person, but it's matte eyeshadows and primers in the front. There are more metallic eyeshadows in the middle, the Glossier Lid Stars, Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon, and in the back we have my sparkles. I do keep the Butter London Glazen Eye Glosses in little plastic baggies to prevent them from drying out. I know it doesn't look as good. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And on the bottom, uh, we have the rest of my eye products, my one eyeliner pencil in the front, my mascaras, brow pencils, brow gels, and because that's the best place for them, my sharpeners and my replacement lash curler pad are also here, right up in the back. So this whole top part, I'm hoping to get a vanity mirror for it. Uh, I'm stroking it lovingly. I know that's a bit creepy, but I love it. Uh, I want to get like a vanity tray or a vanity mirror and put it on the bottom. And I will use that to hold my brushes. You'll notice that they're not there right now because I was like, well, shit, you know, I could just drop them on there, but that looks pretty fucking trashy. So <laughs> um, I am working on getting a vanity mirror and a jar for those. But overall, I think this is just the absolute fulfillment of a dream and I'm so grateful to my fiance for it. Please check out his Instagram. He is so incredibly talented and I hope you enjoyed it.